Hello one and all, and welcome to Let's Play Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. I am the Max of Few Trades, and welcome to a brand new series right here on this channel. It's splendid, it's going to be a great time. So this is Ghost Trick, a game that I have gotten a great deal of requests to play over the years I've been Let's Playing. And I figure, yeah, you know what, sure, why not? I found a way to record some DS games, so how about we just do this crazy dance? From what I know... This game is made, it's either made by the same people as Phoenix Wright, this game was either, and uh, this game was created by the same guy who created Phoenix Wright, or it has the same character designer as Phoenix Wright. Either way, any of those three are perfectly okay things in my book, so <laughs> we're probably going to be getting pretty cerebral, we're probably going to get some puzzles, we're probably going to get all sorts of crazy shenanigans, it's going to be a crazy time. Uh, let's just jump right in, why don't we? Boop! No, that's not ominous. Hmm. Chapter 1, 7.02 p.m. It's actually 11.23 p.m., but okay. Must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy. Kind of like I'm swimming through darkness. Whoa. When I came to, there was a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. At least I don't think I know her. And then there was a man with a gun. I don't know him either. Well, probably not anyway. Yee. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot, but I have just one little problem. I'm already dead myself. Oh. Yeah, I can see how that would probably make things difficult. This has got to be me, no question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies lying around here? Well, I haven't gotten much of a vantage point, so... Hmm. So long, sister. I feel bad for her, sure, but what can I do? I'm dead. But just as I was thinking this... Something magical happens. This is, this is no time to be lulling around dead. You're the only one who could save her. Hey yo, hello. Oh, what the? The whole world just changed on me. That's a thing that happens, I guess. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. A voice in my head, a, or whatever my vague approximation of a head is. Who are you? No time for introductions now. You have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. D me save her? What? What? Huh? Just take a look at your corpse. Uh, do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. And do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. A core? Just looks like a railway crossing gate to me. Look, the best way to understand is to just try it. First of all, try touching your soul. Touch. Whoa. Next, with your fingers still on it, slide your slow soul to connect it with this core. Hmm. If I'm going to be reading, I'm going to need to not get tongue-tied. Okay, now I am in a crossing gate. Congratulations! Your soul has now possessed the crossing gate. So, what? Now I'm a crossing gate? Ahem. <clears throat> now then, use the crossing gate to save the woman. But, but how? In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? Well, assuming that's not a toy gun, yeah, I would guess. So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Wait a second, I still don't know what you're talking about. Oh, ominous laughter. That's good. You'll see. You'll see. Now then, time will start to flow again. Ah! Okay, that's not good. Uh, trick! No, oh, now's your chance. <laughs> I just, I saw a button. I was going to click it anyway. Trick! Booga booga! Huh. Well, that, that kind of helped. What just happened? That was one of your powers at work. A ghost trick. Wow, did not take long to title drop the game's name there. Nah. Okay, that's cool. You mean I made the crossing gate move? That's right. You manipulated that object with a power of the dead. A ghost trick. And all you had to do is perform the trick like yeah. To perform a trick like that is touch the trick button. Now the woman's fate has changed. I'll bet just a little. Yeah, she still kind of has a gun pointed at her. Hmm, yes. That's not good, is it? At least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. So I enter the ghost world with ghost, possess an object, and then perform a trick with it, eh? 
Wait, okay, okay, now you're getting it. Let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different core. All right. I am now a guitar. A guitar, then, is it? Huh. Hey, what do you want from me? I would have preferred that giant wrecking ball. That would have solved the problem real quick, I bet. But I guess I can't reach cores that are too far away. Oh. Maybe I should have tried to do that. I didn't know that was a wrecking ball. Well, I guess we'll see what you can do with that guitar. Let's set time in motion again and find out. And... Let me try that again. And... Acoustics! I can't, oh, come on, woman! Run in a different direction! That's gotta be some of the slowest running away I've ever seen. Okay, at least the game is aware of it, too. Looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. Okay. Oh, dear. All right. Let's see. What core is close enough to possess from here? I guess all there is is me. No time to be picky. I've got a woman to save! I like your attitude. It's admirable, truly, but... But what? If I can manipulate objects, then I ought to be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? I mean, that is pretty sound logic. Well, tell you what, why don't you just try it and see? Alright, well... If ghosts could possess corpses, no one would be dead. Alright, now we'll set time in motion. Go ahead and try the trick button. Yeah, that, uh, none's happening there. What? Nothing's happening! Exactly. Sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Oh, well, that's a pretty lame turn of events. Okay. Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. You've got to be kidding me. Wait, what about the woman? What's happening to her? Well, let's take a look, shall we? If you want to take a look around, you can slide the screen. Slide the screen? It's easy. Give it a try. Uh, okay, yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Oh, well, that's just... Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh! And undignified. Huh. I am pretty bad at my job, I guess. That's disappointing. Out of my way. Rude? Murder and desecration of a corpse? And you look rather professional, so I have to ask why a professional is using a shotgun for their murder weapon. A bit unsubtle. I mean, shotguns are cool, but unsubtle. It's done. I'm on my way. Alright, so... Yeah, we're dealing with... Oh, hey! Just like the title. I see what they did there. Kinda convenient I landed here. In the end, it looks like her fate remains unchanged. So what good are these ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking this, I was struck through the head by that weird voice again. Oh. Pixar lamp, is that you? Hello there! How are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy what happened tonight. Yeah, thanks for the help on that, by the way. Ah, ignoring me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. Ah, so it was you. You were the voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice, exactly. The, the dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. That's another little trick ghosts can do. Huh, well, that's fancy. Looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. Well, to be fair, you were kind of dropped in with, with very little notice. She still ended up just as dead as before. That's true. For now. For now? Oh, do I got time travel powers? Because that'd be dope. I still have more to teach you about the power of the dead. Your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you, anyway? You may call me Lampy Lamperson. Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. Who is she and why are we saving her? Did she deserve this fate? I know not. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying here like a discarded piece of trash? Well, when you say it like that, yes. Jeez, that's one morbid lamp. But what can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, eh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your powers. Alright. 
Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her. But I guess I'll take the desk lamp on his invitation anyway. And the long line of sentences you never thought you'd say. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave women lying around discarded like trash. And number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. So, you know, sure, why not? Alright, it's time to get tricky up in here. Uh, okay, touch the thing. That thought bubble you just touched. Those are your thoughts. What you're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, eh? So the dead don't have voices. And what we think is communicated directly to one another. So those thought bubbles are sort of a stand-in. I think I'm starting to get it. I'm glad you are. I think so too. Just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. I just might get some important clues from them. Okay, so if our talking and our thinking are the same thing, why are some th why are some things in parentheses as if he's perhaps thinking them? Now then, in order to possess me, you first have to enter the ghost world. And the ghost button is your ticket in. The best thing to do is to try it. I I tried to. It didn't it, it just per it just made the text go. The ghost button, eh? Guess I'll give it a little touch. Okay, yep. Ghosty powers. All right, and I guess I have a, a radius. Yep, cannot go over there. Okay, fair enough. To the car door. And I can just sort of slowly climb my way up. By the way, have you taken a look at the top screen? I've noticed that it tells me what I am in, yes. What about it? It tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. The information is there for you to check out whenever you need it. So in this case of this folding cot, it looks like it can unfold it. And to perform a trick on the object you're possessing, you first have to return to the land of the living. Oh, okay. This time the back button is your ticket out of the ghost world. Well, good luck, we're counting on you. De who's this we? Some sort of horrible ghost Illuminati. Okay, I'm just making sure there's nothing I can do with any of this other stuff. Okay, guess not. And... Folding cot! Okay. Oh, well ain't that handy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now I'm in a lamp. Huh, that's funny. What is? Nothing about this situation seems humorous. My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. Well, yeah, one's slightly purple. There's something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Rude. Not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know. So those waves are because of my powers of the dead, eh? That and the purple. Anyway, dodging topics. Congratulations, you passed. Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power, what else? Another one? Now, let's review. Of course, you can possess objects and manipulate them, right? Now, what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Well, as you told me, absolutely nothing. Because I already tried that, remember? And nothing happened at all. True, you don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. A lot of convenient spotlights wherever this is where we are. Some kind of junkyard, I assume. However, there is something else you can do. Oh yeah, what's that? Why don't you try it and see? Well, far be it from me to argue with a desk lamp. Not after the last time. Whoa! That was an interesting sensation. What's this? Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Ah, lamp again. It looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious? But she's dead. Yes, but think back. Remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you'd been unconscious too. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I can roll with that. Come to think of it, the desk lamp is right. Again, sentences you don't hear much. When I came to, I was already dead. With a lack of memory at the same time. Let's eat, leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. Oh, sure, you make it sound so easy. And it is easy. Well, then why'd you let me fail the first time? When you see your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past to a time four minutes before that person's death. That is oddly specific. Are you serious? Back through time? That's right, but there's a catch. It only works on new corpses. Corpses that have been dead for less than one day. And she's still well within that limit. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. But this is crazy. None of it makes any sense. 
We're talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. Well, that's a casual sidestepping of the issue if I ever heard from it, you stinking sentient desk lamp. Now then, let's go, shall we? To the time four minutes before that woman was murdered. Hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. Ominous lamp. All right, fine. Rewind space time. Well, that was cool. And so now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as a fuzzy, distant memory of the past, but as a very real living present. Question, how many times can I do this? All right, wake up. Are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's dead, Jim. And before she knew it, this noise. Here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. A golden shotgun? Okay, I will give you points for style, but still. A pretty clumsy weapon for a killer. You did this. You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. And the fact that I don't think you're wearing pants. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had to rub out all the last traces of Tess... Temsic left in this country. Wow, or county. I think it was a country. Te Temsic? What in the world is that? Beats me. I just do what I'm told. All I know is you've got nowhere else to run to. Time to die, sister. As long as that bad boy Wrecking Ball stays right up there where it belongs. Okay. Look, all I want to know is who are you? You don't know me, and I don't know you. This is just business. I murder people. Names complicate things, sister. Ha-ha! Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta! Alright, so it appears anything I've already done... ...will continue to happen. So that's pretty great. Yatta! Oh, hey! Even she's got it! Oh, wait. Holy crap. If this is made by the same people as the Phoenix Wright Riders, that means I'm gonna be able to predict things seconds before they actually happen, like I did in that series. Okay. I'm gonna have to get used to that being weird. <laughs> A shotgun, kind of a flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? See, this lady, she gets it. Not flashy, just thorough. They call me nearsighted Jigo, but I never let my prey get away. Well, yeah, with a spread that wide, it would be embarrassing if you did. Never thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. Oh, boy. My eyesight in your future! Well, I didn't seem to actually make much of an attempt at that time. Unless it was more of a clip show. And there you have it. The last four minutes of her life. I don't think that was four minutes, but I'll, I'll take your word for it, Lamp. No. Oh, it's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate, and a man toyed with by a ghost. But she still died. Yes, and you can change that with your ghost tricks. Just like you did four minutes ago. Possesses and manipulate, eh? Ghost and then trick. And you can rewind these four minutes as many times as you like! Sweet! I can make as many failed attempts as I want. Now then, are you ready? Well, as I'm ever going to be, given the circumstances. Alright, rewind at space time yet again! That time it was an hourglass. Oh! Why am I all the way down here? Okay, so this is four minutes ago, eh? Fine, I get that. But what am I doing way down here? Well, that's just how it works. Her corpse was your gateway into the past, after all. So naturally, your starting point is where her corpse was. And this is where she, This is not where she died, this is just where her body fell after she died. I feel like I should be able to abuse a loophole here. Okay, fine. Hop in, then. Alright, so I gotta get my butt way the dump over there real quick-like. Okay, and there's no going back. There, and the, the cot is already opened up. That's convenient. There are only four minutes left before she dies. You'd better try and get to her as fast as you can. There's no time to lose. Oh, boy. Yep, things are going down. Things are going down in Funky Town. Oh, boy. Time is passing because, you know, I didn't need more stress or anything. The last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there fast. That's right. Have a look at the top screen. The top screen, eh? The sand on the top of that timer is how much time she has left. 
Get to her quickly before all the sand is gone. All right, well, are we just gonna keep talking or are we actually going to accomplish something? Up you go then. All right, up Sedasium to the mannequin. And then to a tire, which I shall now roll. Huzzah. Okay, what does that accomplish? Back to the mannequin and into a refrigerator. Of course, no one would suspect it. Okay, click. Oh boy. Some sort of hitman, what do you want? Okay, we're gonna be able to eventually figure out what a tez Temsnik is. Temsik, that is a hard word to say. Okay, I'm well aware, instead of gawking, maybe we should, you know, vroom vroom, go go go. Her time's running out. Ghost, ghost with the most. Oh, okay, hang, hang on. There we go, okay. Then we go in here. And then I guess we go into a blender, which we can turn on, I guess. Turn on the blender. Successfully, blend successfully blended. Good, good. Glad we did that. Can I make it? Oh, okay, I can. All right. So, what I gotta do? I think I can. I think I've got this figured out. You activate the fan, and that'll make the flag go. And then the flag will. Hang on. Oh, hang on. I should probably actually be in the flag. I think. There we go. How's that? It working? Oh, and I think the bl oh the blender pulled the rope. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. All right, that works out. Just a few more steps. I'm gonna make it in time. Okay, all right. Okay, we're desperately low on money. Uh, we're desperately low on money, but more importantly, time. But I made it to a bicycle. Hopefully all that other stuff still happens. Yo, it does. Yeah, Glad nobody's paying any attention. Oh boy. It's like, how is all, how are those things automatically happening? If, if this happens enough, the lady is really going to start questioning what her luck ch luck and chances are, because my goodness. Now's your chance to change your fate. Can I jump on the shotgun and, like, jam it? There's not much time left. This is coming down to a battle of seconds. All right. Well, it's time to pedal! Pedal, 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 pedal! Okay, I'm not pedaling, I guess. I'm going here. Time is almost up. You have to change your fate before the countdown reaches zero. Okay, time doesn't pass while I'm in the ghost world. I better possess something fast. Okay, well, I was pedaling, and nothing happened. Oh, but there's a bicycle bell! Bicycle bell! Ding, ding! Aw, oh, you done shot the bike. Damn it, what's going on here? Nearsighted Jigo never misses, as long as that target is within point-blank range. Ah, yes, that's a... That's a pretty good, uh... Yeah, that's a good record there, buddy. Okay. It looks like you made it in time, just barely. Yep, she's still alive. And in that split second, hope was born. Just now, her fate was changed. I'll bet ever so slightly. Oh, dear. Okay, well, fate changed. That's good. But, uh, oh, yep, all right. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How did you even get where you were if you couldn't go that way? The bridge is up. No oh, butts. Okay, hang on. Now is the time for pedaling. Ha-ha! Alright. I don't need no fancy advice. Assuming I can use this lever, which I can. Ho 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 ho! Unfortunate. You hear something? Uh no. I'm kind of busy, you know, trying not to get murdered. Alright, let's see here. Um uh, can I get into this ladder? Or is it a step ladder? <laughs> I see. Okay. Anyway, uh, maybe. Wait. What's. Oh, no, I can't get into the ladder. And I can extend it. Oh, that ain't no step ladder. That's a normal ladder. Hoop. Habity hoop. That's a street light. Habity hoop. And gobbity goop. And good night, Sam. I'm saving someone from death by murdering someone else. Well, that was a very wily e. Coyote death sequence you just had yourself there. Pretty sure someone can't just get splatted like that. Should have been a lot more Gibbs, but, uh... Hey, we did it! How's it feel to save a lady's life? So, the danger is gone? Yeah, looks like the danger, Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. You used your powers to avert that woman's fate. Let's hope she isn't evil. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did. And I knew you could do it! 
I've never had a lamp believe in me before. This stirs strange feelings I once did not know. So I lost my life tonight and saved somebody else's life. An interesting turn of events. Also, I guess we're going to back to the present, but with not dead people. When I came back to the present, it was raining. And she is still sitting there. Probably a little shell-shocked. I had saved the life of this stranger, now sitting forlornly in the rain. Even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. Oh, well, now that's just adorable. A stranger. That word strikes a chord, and a terrible truth, truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? And most important of all... Why was I killed? These are all very good questions. Oh, right, I'm also still in a claw. Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you, anyway, now that we have time? Just call me Ray. As in, Ray of Light in the Darkness. Heh <laughs> Yeah, okay, sure, whatever, Desk Lamp. Ray, huh? So aren't you gonna, you're not gonna tell me your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name yet either, actually. I can't remember. Eh, I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back, others never do. But if you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead. And that is to disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. Well, this is gonna be a short-lived career! But tomorrow morning? Ah, wait a minute. These powers of the dead. Yes? I'd like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? Do you even have to ask? Mine, of course. Ah, I see. But think about it this way. If we could use ghost tricks to save ourselves, wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me, I'm a desk lamp. Okay, well here's the thing, you seem extraordinarily worldly and knowledgeable about all this ghost nonsense for apparently the fact that ghosts only have about 12 hours of existence. How come you haven't disappeared, eh? Why a desk lamp, anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. But in any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding! We only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. So, there's really no escaping my own death. Alright, game over. That's a bummer. In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently, there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story. The lost story of my fate, right up until the time of my death. And until I learn that... You won't be able to rest in peace, right? Quit reading my brain waves. Very well. I understand how you feel. If you want to go and learn the truth about your death, as well you should. I will, but let's see. How should I go about doing that, I wonder? I can't even imagine what the first step would be. The first step? That's easy. You start with her. Lady sneezes like kitten? The person who witnessed your death. She should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right. And not only that, she might even know who I am. Yeah, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I doing here tonight in a place like this? That woman probably knows the answer. I feel like that's probably incorrect, but hey, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. She's the key to everything tonight. The key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough when you regain your memory. See, what this is telling me is that this lamp already knows the answers to everything and just ain't telling me. Rude. Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. I should probably keep some kind of record of everything I learned tonight. That's a good idea. Touch whatever that button is to view a record of what you've learned. And be sure to check it out now and again. Memories aren't always the most reliable things, after all. I mean, yeah, that's true. Science has proven memories are kind of stupid. Alright then, I wish you good luck. Okay, bye lamp. I guess. So, click on the thing. Click on the thing. Alright. Me, the mystery. I lost my life at a lonely spot on the outskirts of town. I'm trying to regain my lost memory and find out the truth behind my death. My only lead is the redhead woman who witnessed that death. Alright. I also know something about her. And she's still sneezy! A woman who was at the scene of my death. 
I don't know her name or anything else about her. She's already been killed once by the Hitman, and I saved her with my powers of the dead. Well, considering she's wearing what appears to be some kind of badge, I'm guessing she's either a cop or detective. Given the detective-like coat, I'm going with detective. That's just my guess. We shall see. He calls himself Ray, and he dances the night away inside, <laughs> inside the trash heap. Wow, look at him go. And I don't know who he really is. He taught me the secrets of the power of the dead. And this guy, who is dead now. He calls himself Nearsighted Jigo. He's a sniper who uses a shotgun. Somebody apparently ordered him to kill the red-headed woman in me. But he's gone now due to an unfortunate accident. Is that what we're gonna call it? Also, I have a phone book. Uh, this place, bleh. The place where I lost my life. It appears to be a junkyard on the outskirts of town. Here I met Ray, who taught me about my powers, and a red-haired woman who might have information about my death. And that is everything we got. Oh, and there's the save button, too. Alrighty, alrighty. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to stop for now. I, need, I, I don't have a lot of time for recording right now, but I did want to make sure I at least started this series with something good. And the mystery is already afoot. We are dead. We are inside a mechanical claw thingy. We gotta go talk to a red-headed girl. We're probably gonna solve some mysteries together. It's gonna be a pretty wacky shenanigans field time, I can already tell you. Hope you guys had a fantabulous time, and I'll see you all in the next part, where hopefully we can get some answers. Later!